Hey there guys, uh, we're back for another review. Tonight we're doing a homebrew review and this was sent to me by Spears104, subscriber of mine and he's a home brewer and he's a very good one in my opinion from the couple brews I've already had of his. Uh, this is going to be from the latest batch of home brews he sent me. Uh, you may have seen them in the previous video. This one is his winter warmer sits at 8% ABV in it he said he used two row Munich crystal and chocolate malts Chinook hops cinnamon cloves and apparently he also even added in a splash a little splash of uh, Bailey's liqueur sounds very interesting and uh, just I'll say this probably on every homebrew review I do of his from this latest batch uh, all of them are partial mashes so some of it is grain and then the rest is made up out of malt extract okay so we're gonna open this up she's got the W on there winter warmer uses the old the uh, Garrison bottles which I really really like see he's got the it's got the embossed logos in the garrison on their bottles for their uh, seasonals and their specialties. All right. Oh, I can smell it from here. All right. Let's take a look at that. Ooh. Get it up to the light there, and it's very red. Pretty much ruby red, really. Very nice. Maybe somewhere between. Yeah, ruby red. That's beautiful. Look at the carbonation coming up there. That's crazy. I don't know if. You... Oh yeah, you can see that on the camera too. Look at that. Isn't that nuts? Look at that head. All right, we'll go right to the smell. I can smell it from here. Oh wow. Now he didn't mention whether this was supposed to be an imitation of uh, Garrison's Winter Warmer or not, but it smells very much like it. Mmm. Yeah, the cinnamon and cloves really come out. You got underlying uh, malty sweetness there. Wow. It, it smells. Smells like a slightly lighter version of uh, Garrison's uh, Winter Warmer. I'm suspecting this is what he was going for, maybe. Something along the lines of Garrison's. Some of the similar uh, ingredients here. Oh, it smells very good. Nice and spicy, but not one of those spicy uh, beers that make your nose water and your eyes sting or whatever. It's just it's got a really nice balance of sweetness and spiciness there. Could even pass, just like Garrison's Winter Warmer, could even pass for like a, uh, almost could pass for like a pumpkin beer or something along those lines. So go right to the taste now. Man, that hid. Look at that. Look at that sticking around. Quite spicy. There's even a little good hops kick in there. Those cinnamon and cloves notes, uh, they come right out in the back. I think I'm even getting some alcohol on this. Yes, indeed, I am. I'm getting some alcohol. Mmm. This is stronger than the Garrison one. Um, the Garrison is 6.8, I believe, the past, this, the, just this past year's edition. So at 8%, I am getting a little bit of the alcohol, getting a really nice dry finish. Uh, the spiciness from the cloves lingers on quite a bit. And that alcohol is 
you know, it's, it's not a big alcohol kick, but it's enough to give you a little bit of warmth. This actually does a better job at being a winter warmer than Garrison's Winter Warmer. And I love Garrison's Winter Warmer. It's an excellent beer. But this one actually lives up to the title. It actually is warm. Or warming, I should say. Up front, sweet malt. Definitely some of that crystal malt. It almost tastes like um, a spicy, alcoholic uh, Irish red. It's, it's fairly malty, got a nice medium mouthfeel, um, and of course you, you tend to get like crystal malts and chocolate malts in uh, uh, Irish red type beers, malty beers like that. Um, the Baileys, I don't, I don't know if I get any of that at all. Maybe he, maybe that just helped pump the alcohol up a bit, I'm not sure. Maybe from the sweetness, but it's really hard to tell if it's in there or not. Not that it's important. That's really damn good. Um, just like the previous two uh, beers you sent me, um, I would buy this if it was available in the store. He's that good of a home brewer. Um, he's right up there brew by me. They're both excellent home brewers. Uh, I've been very, very lucky to get excellent home brewers sending me their stuff mm. oh that's really really good I, I don't think there's anything else I can say about it other than uh, that's really a, a really good job buddy um, yeah uh, I encourage anyone you know who, any other uh, home brewers out there or um, any uh, beer reviewers to get in contact with Spears 104. I'm not guaranteeing you'll set up a deal with them or whatever, but if you can get his beers, uh, they're definitely worth trying if you do homebrew reviews. Uh, he's, he makes really, really good stuff. This is another winner from him. Um, if it was commercially available, that would be an easy 4 out of 5 from me. So, I don't really give number ratings to homebrews, but if that was commercially available, I would give it a 4 out of 5. It's that good. Alright, well, we'll be back. I'm going to enjoy this for a while. I might do another one or two of his beers tonight. I'm not quite sure how many I can get away with because if I have too many of them, my brother's going to be really upset. So, uh, we'll catch you guys later. Cheers. Cheers.